Ugh, why is this so dark? Better turn the light on. <gasps> Mason! Who the hell is he? Mason, meet my boss, Mr. Baxter. Mr. Baxter, meet Mason, my son. Now you tell me, why the hell you're at school so damn early? I got the attention. Again? Mason, we talked about this. Okay, but back to that dude. Why is he here and why is the furniture moved? It's none of your concern, kid. I'm pretty damn sure the last time I checked that since I live in this house, I have a right to know who the fuck is in it. Mason! I, I think I should go. But sir. No, no. It's fine. We'll talk about this later. It was nice meeting you, Jason. Mason. Yeah, whatever. Is this what you do all day? Sleep around with your boss until he gives you a raise or hell even a promotion? Mason, if you didn't live under a rock, you'd know our mortgage right now is expensive and I've been trying to make sure that we don't go in debt. Well, sleeping with your boss isn't gonna fix anything. Right now, I'm worried about punishing you for getting detention again. Why don't you just ground me like you always do? No, that's way too simple. Well, I don't know. Fuck. And also, stop swearing. Oh, you piece of shit. Ah, oh, damn it. Tofu. Tofu, oh my dog. You okay, girl? Well, safe to say, I think I just found your new punishment. What? You have 48 hours to get rid of Tofu. No way. Yeah, you heard me. You can either find Tofu a new home or I will. Are you kidding me? Tofu has been with me since I've been at the adoption agency. She isn't going anywhere. I didn't ask. This is an order. Now, excuse me, I'm going to the bar. <sighs> it's okay, girl. Everything will be fine. So you must be Ash's brother. Yep, that's me. I'm Sky. How come I haven't met you before? He doesn't really talk much. He's also not as social as me. Hey, I'm pretty social. I just got Instagram. Not that kind of social. Did I mention he's dumb? <laughs> okay, you guys aren't funny. And I happen to let you all know, I just got myself a girlfriend. Oh, really? So who's the lucky girl? She wants to keep us low key for right now. But I just want to let you all know, I got the prettiest fish in the ocean. So you're dating a fish? No, I'm not dating a fish. Well, let's change the subject. Lexi. Em, if it's the discussion that we had earlier, I don't want to talk about it again. What's going on? She has a crush on Eliza. Oh, come on, don't tell everybody. Wait, you're bi? Yes, I'm bi. Well, why don't you go ask her out? She's over there. Shut up, Ash. Don't say her name out loud. She might hear her. And plus, I don't know her sexuality. I think it's straight, but I'm not sure. But I think about it. I've never seen her date anybody before. Yeah, so who knows? But at this point, you might as well go ask. I'm scared. How about you hit her up on Snapchat and talk to her as a friend and then see how it goes. Mm, fine. Mm. Oh look guys, there's Ellie. Oh, uh, she's ditching us again for Leo? I don't think that's the case. Leo, again? Babe, come on. Huh? We've talked about this. I thought you were gonna stop talking to her. If you have a problem with it, just leave. Fine. <sighs> hey guys, what's going on? What? Nothing. Uh, yeah, nothing. Uh, did you guys notice anything? What? what? No, 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 no. Maybe you guys were right about Leo. If he can cheat on me countless times, I'm pretty sure he'd take advantage of me. I'm sorry guys for not believing you. I told you she'd get it. Ellie, I know how hard it must have been to realize the truth, but I'm sorry. It's not any of your guys' fault. It's mine, and if anybody needs to do any apologizing, it's me to Mason. He's over there if you want to go talk to him. I might as well. Hey. Hey. Can I talk to Mason in private? Uh, yeah, of course. Well, well, just the girl I needed to talk to. Talk to me about what? I needed to ask you a favor, and I know you might say no due to the tension between us. What is it? 
I need you to babysit my cricket for me. Your cricket? Yeah, my adoptive mom is making me get rid of her for getting detention the other day. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's fine, I just need you to babysit her until I can find her a good home. Are you up to it? Of course. Do you mind if I drop her off at your house today? Yeah, that's no problem. Do you um mind if I give you my phone number? No, I, I don't mind at all. Here, thanks. Here. That's the bell. I'll see you later. See ya. Well, I found his number. Oh, I got practice today. Do you want to come? To your practice? Um, no, thanks. You won't even come to the game. The least you can do is come to the practice. I've got homework to do. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> what are you guys laughing about back there? Nothing, nothing. It's clearly something. <laughs> oh well, don't worry about it. Fine. Alright class, that was the bell, so now let's start. Why, hello there. Yeah, I'm so sorry I'm late. I'm not used to these types of hallways. It's fine, so I'm taking this as your new student. If this is English literature class, then yes, I am a new student. My name is Ava, and I just moved here from a different high school. I didn't really move uh, districts, I just moved high schools. I see, well, it's nice having you here. I was just about to start class, so you didn't miss much. If you'd like to take a seat in that back row back there, That'd be great. Oh, all right. Ava? Mason? Miss Ava, I'm excited that you're a new student with us today, but may you please take a seat? We're about to start the lesson. Right. Sorry, sir. Thank you. So for this class, we're having a project due. It's due this Thursday, but I'm letting you have class time today to work on it. If you do not get done with your projects today in class, you will have to work outside of school to work on it with your partners. And Ava, since you're a new student, you're going to make this class an odd number, so you will have to be in a group with already two people in it. Oh, you can pair her with me. Leo, I would rather partner her with someone more sophisticated and someone who actually has a good grade in this class. Like Miss Haynes here. What? So Ava, you will be partnered with Ellie and whoever else she's partnered with. So for the remainder of class, please partner up with your groups. Ugh, I'm gonna die. I think I'm just gonna sit at this desk. Oh, well, hi, Ava. I'm Ellie. Ellie, nice to meet you. It's very nice to be seeing you again, Mason. You know each other? Oh yeah, we basically grew up in the same adoption agency. Wow, small world. Wow, I haven't seen you since we were kids. You've really grown up. <laughs> Thanks, not too bad yourself there, Mason. Um, so, um, <clears throat> shouldn't you begin with your partner? At least my partner. Oh wow, really? What a coincidence. Uh-huh. Okay, so we better start working on the project. Our class has a bell. You're dismissed. I'll see you at lunch, Elle. Bye. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, hey guys. Oh, hey, Elle. Since we didn't get done with the project, I was just wondering if you guys would like to come over to my house later today and we can work on it. Yeah, sure. No problem. What do you think, Mason? Uh, sure. Why not? Great. Just, uh, meet me after school. Bye, guys. Bye. So do you know where math is? Yeah, I'll show you. Hey picking guys. out the bow color this morning. Oh, hey, oh. I was talking, but okay. Hi. So I guess we'll meet at my house at four, so you guys might need my address. So go ahead and enter your phone number in my phone. I'll text you the address. Oh, okay.
You still have my phone number, right? Of course I do. Okay, here you go. Okay, thanks. I'll see you guys at 4 o'clock in my house. Bye. Bye, Elle. Sweetheart, somebody's here for you. Hey, Mason. Hey. Uh-huh. Um, I'll let y'all be alone. No funny business. <laughs> okay, Dad. So, you're here pretty early. And I'm guessing that's the little guy I'm babysitting. It's a... a girl. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, hello. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's adorable. Her name is Tofu. Tofu? Isn't that like some sort of sushi? Yeah, don't worry about the name. It's a, it's a long story. I've had her the first day since I ever went into the orphanage. She was the closest thing I had to a friend. For a while, at least. Is that where you met Ava? Yeah, um, that's where we became friends and grew up together. Ava was one of my bestest friends for the longest time. Why does that sound like there should be a but after that? Well, I got adopted, and she didn't, and so we had to depart from each other. And since then, we never saw each other ever again. That's sad, I'm sorry. So you guys were just friends? Yeah, we were just kids. <laughs> okay. She advised me to take Tofu with me. Yeah, so question. You're seemingly nice to me all of a sudden. Am I not allowed to be? No, but since you accused me of drugging and taking advantage of you, I figured you'd be mad. Mason, I'm sorry. For what? I realized the truth. How did you realize it? Knowing Leo, he's way too selfish to care for me. He barely opens the door for me, let alone protect me from somebody taking advantage of me. My friends mostly help me shed some light on the truth. Ellie, seriously. Hey, honey. Yada. Yeah, Sorry to interrupt anything, but you have another visitor. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. It's fine. I'll let myself out. Well, anyways, sorry I'm late. Tofu? Oh my dog, it's been forever since I've seen Tofu. I know, she probably misses you. Well, come here, Tofu. Tofu, what's the matter? Tofu, are you okay? Maybe she just forgot who you are. Ugh, please, I'm unforgettable. Now, Tofu, let's try again. Eh? <laughs> well, it's fine. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and start on the project, shall we? Good idea. Hmm. Mm. I got the textbook set up on the bed. However, I think there's only enough room on the bed for two people. Here, I'll sit up on the bed with you. Okay, great, come on. Actually, you know, Ellie, how about I sit up on the bed with you? Or better yet, how about me and Mason sit on the bed? You know, since we're like your guests and stuff. Oh, um, sure. Here, come on, Mason. You know what, I think I'm good down here. Maybe you and Tofu can sell them. Ugh, Mason, this bed is super comfy. Come on. Uh, okay, sure. Great, now we can start. Yeah, we sure, we sure can. <coughs> All right, let's get started. <laughs> good news, guys, we're almost done with the project. That's great. I'm having a lot of fun doing this project with you all. Oh, Mason. <laughs> See you and Tofu are getting along. Huh, I guess we are. I have to run to the bathroom real quick. I'll I'll be right back. Ellie, do you mind pointing me where the bathroom is? It's actually in that room over there. Wait, really? That's not a closet? Cool. Thanks, so. <sighs> Ellie. Anyways, let's finish this project. So, Ellie, how long have you known Mason? Uh, for a few weeks now. Why? Oh, so you guys are like just friends, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, for right now, you know. <laughs> what do you mean for right now? Well, just between me and you, I kind of have a little cru- <laughs> Uh, what's so funny? <laughs> Nothing, just you think you have a chance with him. 
I'm, I'm sorry, what? He would never date someone like you. <laughs> a collie? Like, are you kidding me? And what's with that fur color? Are we in the 1980s? Uh, excuse you. Uh... Oh, well, come on. I'm just being honest. I mean, if he was really into collies like you, he wouldn't have dated me at the orphanage. And would have dated a collie like you. But he didn't. So what does that tell you? I'm sorry, but who the hell do you think you are? I'm Ava, Mason's ex-girlfriend. And soon-to-be girlfriend, again! He said you all were just friends. <laughs> You're flirting with him so hard that he has to let you down somehow. I mean, just get real, Ellie. I get what I want, and he's what I want. People like you, however, don't get what they want. Like how your poor mommy died. How the hell did you know that? Maybe you're acquainted with Angel. Maybe not. But you better watch your back. Because me and Angel together are infinite. You're no match for us. What do you have against me? That's for me to know and for you to dot dot dot. But let's just put it this way. If you even flirt with Mason again, you are dead. Oh please, your petty threats are nothing to me. But I mean it. Dead. Hey girls, I'm back. Oh good. So what were y'all doing while I was in the bathroom? Oh, you know, just talking. So well, I better get going. Oh, already? <phone rings> yep, that's my cue. I'll see you at school tomorrow. And you too. <phone rings> Ellie, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You know you can tell me anything, right? I know. Oh. Oh. I just can't say this. Ellie. Dead. Dead. <gasps> what's the matter? You need to leave. Ellie, what's wrong? You're practically shaking. I gotta go. Ellie, go. <sighs> okay, okay. See you tomorrow, Elle. So when is she gonna be here? Look, I've already texted her. She's on her way. Be patient. Whatever. Hi, I'm sorry I'm late. I got caught up and- It's fine, darling. What took you so long? You'll have to excuse my friend. She gets impatient easily. That's fine, I understand. So. Let's talk about phase one. Unfortunately, phase one was ruined due to Leo being a total liar and telling Ellie that he didn't drug her. So I came up with phase two. Clearly phase two is already in action because you're here. I'm sure you did what you were told, right? Yes, sir, I gave her the message. Excellent. So now let's start with, wait a minute, I'm totally confused by this. How so? Well, I understand that you're trying to ruin Ellie's life, but why? It all started back in freshman year. We were best friends until her stupid mother died. That's when she became depressed and really annoying. It was like every day, it was a different sob story. It caught on my nerves. So I dropped her as a friend. You think that'd be the end, but it wasn't. Ellie's mother owned a clothing line and once she passed, her father took over the business. Since then, the business has skyrocketed. Skyrocketed so far that my mom's business is now running bankrupt. We still keep getting business, but soon, we'll have none. So why are we destroying Ellie's life when we should be destroying her dad's? Because her dad cares so much about her. It's disgusting. He paid thousands of dollars for her therapy. I'm pretty sure nobody else's parents would do that. Well, shut up. Okay. At first, her father wouldn't take over the company after her mom died because Ellie was in such a depressive state. So I'm thinking that if Ellie is in another depressive state again, he'll back down from the company. And my mom's company will be back on top. That makes so much sense. It really does. That's a genius, Angel. Thank you, Eliza. So back to what I was saying, let's talk about phase two for a minute. Like I said, I want to make Ellie's life miserable as possible. So I've gathered us some notes, some ideas on how to ruin Ellie's life. And phase two starts with you. So what do I do now? It's a win-win situation. You love Mason, so you're going to take him from her. And considering since you threatened her life, 
it should be fairly easy. And so then we'll move on to phase three, which is already written down in my notes. Take a look. You want me to take back tofu? You said that cricket was yours and Mason's, right? And I overheard he's letting Ellie babysit it. What? That feline dog couldn't even take care of itself. Which is why I want you to take the cricket back. Any small piece of happiness will ruin the plan. And then, what about her friends? Her friends are gonna leave her. But leave that up to me and Eliza. What's the matter? What's up with that glum look on your face? The last part of the face is death. Don't worry about that right now. Let's just get her to the depressive state. Who will be dying? You'll see. Now. It's getting late. You should be heading home. Both of you. I'll text you the details on the next part of the plan. Uh, this is truly thrilling, especially when we get something out of it. I'm so excited to start. We start tomorrow. So get a good night's rest. Have a good night. Ava, you should be leaving now. I just wanted to ask, what would we be getting out of it, specifically me? Well, you'll have Mason, you'll have your little cricket, and then I'll pay you. How much? A couple thousand, maybe a couple hundred, depending how good the job is done. So you better work your tail off. Got it? Got it. I won't let you down. Good. Now leave. Yes, of course. 